Hi, I'm Steve Jerkin, former Olympic basketball player. And the Sykes Wellness Center has asked me to talk to you guys about something very important today. Now, being a uh, former basketball player in the Olympics is the coolest job in the world. But a lot of you guys and gals have forgotten what cool really is. Cool means dunking on the Latvian national team to the cheers of thousands of adoring fans. But enough about me. I'm here at uh, Andover Academy to talk to you guys about dueling. When I was in the Olympics and the Spanish national team came up to me and said, hey, you want to hit this performance enhancing drug? I said, no way, Jose. And that's what the courts overlooked. My initial reluctance speaks to my high moral character. And if the Latvians hadn't paid off the jury, you'd all be wearing jerkins, not Jordans. That's beside the point. My therapist says I'm not supposed to talk about it that much. I'm here so that when Aaron comes up to you and offers you a hit, this fancy USB, you'd say, buzz off, Aaron. You're a nerd whose mother doesn't love their father, and you'll never make it to the big league. You might say, Mr. Jerkin, that's all well and good, but Julie's just so chic and easy, and all the girls love to hit Aaron's jewel. Well, let's see how Jimmy, a normal kid just like you, deals with that same situation. Jimmy, you want to take a kiss from my electronic cigarette alternative? Uh, I don't know, Aaron. Come on, you'll be real cool. You can ride with me in my bike gig. All the girls will love you. Really? Yeah, once you hit this thing, we'll be brothers for life. Sweet. <laughs> Jimmy didn't do too well that time. But let's see how he fares with the jerkin' method. Jimmy, you want to take a kiss from my electronic cigarette alternative? Buzz off, Aaron. Your mother doesn't love your father, and you'll never make it to the big leagues. You know what? I respect your courage for standing up to me. Really? No, you freaking nerd. Gerald, get the bikes! Jimmy! You did real good out there, son. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Mr. Jerkin. I thought Julian was cool, but now I see it's not the stuff of champs. That's right, Jimmy, that's right. My dad said your husband. Ah, ha, ha! Classic Jimmy! Listen up, because there are some cold hard facts about Julian coming your way, hombre. Fact number one. This one's for all you biologically male identifiers out there. If you jewel, your penis will shrink. That's right, fellas. You better watch out, or you'll be feeling a few pounds lighter. Fact number two, Juul was invented by Nazi scientists. That's right, Nazi, as in Nazi, right choice. Fact number three, if you Juul, Sane will burst forth from the underworld and seal your anus shut. All right, can we cut for a second, guys? Where, where the hell did you get these? Where'd you get these facts? Uh, Genesis. Really? Fact number four, Every time you jewel, a circumcision is reversed. Guys, cut! What does that? What does that mean? Somebody, exp I want somebody to actually explain that to me because I literally cannot imagine that. It, that's sick. That's actually twisted. I want to stop. I want to stop right there. I want to turn all the cameras off. All right. I'm gonna make a call. Fucking bullshit. Mike? Mike? Yeah. Yeah, it's Steve, I'm, I'm on the set right now, and I'll tell you, it's fucking weird. It's weird stuff. They're talking, I don't even want to let you know what they're saying, but you would, can you, can I finish? Can I speak now? I'm only doing this because the IRS is so far up my fucking ass, and I've missed three child support payments already, but otherwise, oh, oh, oh I would be with cheerleaders. You know that? No, no, no. Fire this guy. Someone fire him. I should be with cheerleaders, models, somebody rubbing my feet. Can't, well, I sound upset because I am upset. It's, a, it's very upsetting. 
Why are you yelling? Okay. All right. Yes, I'm gonna try. I'll try. All right. Love you too. Fact number five. Drooling can lead to a serious nicotine addiction. Guys, what the fuck? Honestly, what is this? What the hell? What the hell is going on, huh? You guys are freaking out of your minds and you've embarrassed me and you've embarrassed your country today, all right? I'm an Olympian. They put a medal around my neck for what I did. What did you guys do, huh? You can't play big man ball. You don't know the first thing. I'm a champion. I'm the best. I'm the greatest. I'm the best. I don't need this. I don't need you all. Fuck this. I'm out. You're the biggest, you're the greatest. You're so strong. You're a champion. You're a winner. Participation medal in the Olympics is still a medal. You're still a winner. Winners win! You are gonna win. Okay. One good slap. Ooh, all right, all right. You're gonna do it! All right. All right, now you're calm. Now be calm. Okay. Whether you're at the Samuel Phillips Hall or a Peresky Commons, the facts about dueling don't change. It's actually pretty good.